What you guys got another video here for you. I've got quite a few people saying, why am I on Windows 10? And the simple answer to that is I was using Windows 11 right at the very beginning, right up until about three months ago, when I started having major issues with Windows 11. I reinstalled Windows 11 so many times with issues with the updates. And because it was to do with gaming and I like to play games, and I had the easy anti-cheat and all that sort of stuff on my system. It kept causing issues. Blue screen, wooden boot, and things like that. So in the end, I uh, bit the bullet and I just went straight onto Windows 10. And thankfully, since I've been on Windows 10, I've actually realized how good Windows 10 was or is still. Because you can still use Windows 10 up until... 2026 with the extension of the updates if you're using an ltse version you can get up to 2027 and of course if you're using the iot ltse you'll get up until 2032 but of course we're not going to go all into the iot ltse versions and stuff like that because we've been through that already but what do i like about windows 10 and why am i still using it well i can use windows 11 on this system because it is a pretty modern day computer uh, but again, like I said, I can adjust everything I want on Windows 10, whereas you are locked out on Windows 11. You can't do a lot of this stuff. It's very easy to navigate around the system. I find Windows 10 to be more responsive and less uh, utilization is being used because Windows 11 is full of bloat. And I understand that it's just the way Windows has become there's less AI in this version of Windows. I don't have any AI because this is an LTSE version of Windows 10. And I'm using a license from uh, my business. So I don't really need to worry about uh, having to use all that other uh, shady stuff that you see people doing on the internet. So I've got a legit version of Windows and I can use this right up until 2027. So what I get here really is a very smooth uh, operating system. I've gone through and I've literally turned off all of the stuff that I don't need inside of all the security settings and privacy settings. There's less to turn off here, so there's less bloating on this system, which makes the system very responsive. It boots up a lot faster, in my personal opinion, and I've had no issues with this whatsoever. And I think the reason for that is because Windows 10 has been around for 10 years. And of course, at the beginning, when Windows 10 was released, there was tons of bugs. And of course, they've now ironed all of those out. And it is actually a solid, stable operating system. And unfortunately, it's reached end of life. And because they're not tampering with it anymore, i.e. they're not adding any more new features to this operating system, it's become stable. And it's because Microsoft are not tampering with it anymore. There's also some other things that you can do inside Windows 10, which you can't do in Windows 11. So let's go through some of this stuff. First, first off, let's just have a quick look at the personalization. Here, it's so simple you're navigating around an operating system within a couple of clicks you're where you want to be. Windows 11 is so bloated that you have to go through many different clicks to get to a simple location, which used to be very quick and easy. And they're taking all that away with Windows 11. Another thing is the taskbar. A lot of people have used Windows 10 for many, many years with maybe the taskbar at the very top of the page right here uh, some people are used to it being up there you can't do that on windows 11 anymore and they've also uh, been able to have it on the right or on the left depending on how they like it a lot of people do like to have it on the side and unfortunately on windows 11 because of all those stupid widgets you can't do that they won't let you change any of this stuff and this was a major big turnoff for a lot of people so I do believe the simplicity of Windows 10 is probably a really big plus point for me, myself. Also, looking at uh, the system itself, when you're looking, say, for instance, inside the menu system here where you've got all of your images, if you click on any of these, it is 
Everything is on one menu. You're not having to have multiple menus, double clicks, another click down here like you do have on Windows 11. Yes, Windows 11 does look a bit more nicer with the rounded edges, but I can live without the rounded edges. I don't really mind. Uh, you know, I don't really care about all of the fanciness that Windows 11 has. All I want is a working operating system that's stable, that doesn't have vast amounts of bloat and it's all clunky like Windows 11 is. And this is a modern day computer. And yet Windows 10 on here is just so snappy. Whereas on Windows 11, it's a little bit more clunky. And I think that's due to all of the AI that they're embedding in just about everything you can see. Now, on my system here, a lot of people, I haven't bothered doing all of the processes and stuff like that because really it's unnecessary. Uh, it doesn't make much difference to the system on my modern day computer here. It doesn't. I can have 210 processes here. It's not a big issue. It's not taking a lot of utilization, as I've said. And again, it's pretty snappy. This system does have 32 gigabytes of RAM at 6,000 megahertz, which is plenty powerful for this system. So once you get a computer that is functioning perfectly fine, why do Microsoft want to force people to upgrade to Windows 11 when it's not finished, it's full of bugs, and the start menu is hideous. You've got no control over it, whereas this, you do have a lot more control. You can even go full screen here. But yeah, I do like the whole look of Windows 10. Now, what you get on the LTSC version is a debloated version of Windows, and I love that. I think you don't have to go through and remove all of the bloated apps that come pre-installed on Windows 11. You don't get that on Windows 10 LTSE. I've got just all the apps that I need here. Uh, basically, once you get this installed on here, it really is very simple and easy to set up and use. It takes me literally five minutes to clear out all of the other stuff that I don't need, turn off all the settings, and I'm up and running. Whereas Windows 11, it's you've got to start using scripts and debloaters and stuff like that. You don't have to do that so much here on Windows 10. Everything is so simple on here, like changing your audio. It's just a simple case of clicking on this and changing it. It's super quick, super easy. I don't know why Microsoft have the tendency to change so much, thinking they're giving you something better, when really they've ruined a perfectly working operating system that is stable and works perfectly fine. What they've tried to do is reinvent the wheel and cause themselves more problems than they need. So again, like I've said before, this works perfectly fine for me. There is no Edge installed on here because it's the LTSC version. I can uninstall that version of Edge. Also, we have no Copilot or AI embedded in this version of Windows 10. It's like Notepad and all the other applications that are installed on this version of Windows. They are just plain legacy versions of apps. You can see they've got the very square edges. There's no tabs. I don't need all those tabs. I don't use them. I don't need text to be saved every time I shut it down and boot it up and there's all text on there still. I don't have all them features. I don't need them. And this doesn't have any co-pilot. And even the actual uh, paint when you go inside here all of the applications that do come pre-installed inside here are just normal applications they don't have copilot embedded in them you can see it as square edges if that really is a turn off for you then maybe windows 10 is not for you uh, you still have another year on windows 10 if you extend uh, to 2026 so that will give you another year another with LTSE, you get 2027, which is probably going to be about it. There is ways of getting this to 2032 with IoT LTSE, but what you have to remember with Windows 10 is once it becomes end of life, which it's getting there very, very soon, the versions of Windows will stay the same. Now, another thing to remember is if you are using an LTSE version or IoT LTSE versions, the feature versions are not going to change. They are going to be stuck with 21H2. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that 
H2 is still going to be okay up until probably 2027. You'll probably still be okay. But after that point, if people are expecting it to last up to 2032, you're going to start running into issues with applications. Uh, programs will not install properly because it's old version of Windows because these versions of Windows like IoT were never designed for home use. Yes, you can use them for home use, but of course, with it being a very old version, this is already obsolete and uh, end of life. So if you're trying to use 21H2 right up until 2032, you are going to run into some issues with some games, some software, some anti-cheats and stuff that you're installing. It won't install it, so you need to update your version of Windows because you're using outdated version. And that's the problem you're going to have by trying to make it last for another so many odd years. 2027 is very doable, and that is probably where I would stop using this. And by then, hopefully, we would have another version of Windows or a stable version of Windows 11 that I can use uh, to take me on into the future. Anyway, that is the reason why I am still using Windows 10 because I've had quite a few people ask the question and now you know why. Anyway, that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.